Hi there. Welcome to our second tutorial on Reason Remote, the proper head system for MIDI mapping. Today we will introduce how to take a remote info file and use it to add a device to an existing remote map. Showing on screen we have the remote info file for the rack extension, S-Strings, released February 2018. You can watch our previous tutorial video to see how to get a remote info file for a regional device. We will be using this information to add this rack extension device to the remote map, Ozone by M Audio. If you're working on a Windows computer, you will find the remote map files at C. Program Data Propeller Head Software Remote Maps. Whereas on a Mac computer, they are located at HD Library Application Support Propeller Head Software Remote Maps. Inside this folder are subfolders for each manufacturer with the remote map. Open the M Audio folder and find the file Ozone Remote Map. This is a plain text file and you can open it with Notepad on Windows or Text Edit on a Mac. Once opened, you will see something like what's on screen now. At the top, you have some lines of text to identify the remote map, manufacturer, model, version etc. Below this are the lines of text that define the mappings for each regional device. Each individual device mapping start with a scope. The first scope line I've highlighted and it starts with the word, scope, followed by the device manufacturer and device ID. Each being separated by a single tab character and ends with a new line. Below the scope line are multiple lines that map each MIDI control to a remote item on the device. These lines start with the word, map. In some remote map files, like this one, you will see lines that start with two slash characters. These are called comments and do nothing to your mappings and are only there to provide text comments. For some devices, you may see lines that start with, defined group. This we will cover in the next tutorial on remote maps. Before we start adding our mappings, we need to get a list of the control names used in our remote map. To do this, simply scan through the whole remote map file and on each line that starts with the word map, the text that follows before the next tab character is a control name. I've highlighted the first control name in the first device map to show where I mean. You want to get all the different control names and put them in a separate text file so you can refer back to it. Here is one I have done for the Ozone by M Audio. Now we have a full list of control names that represent controls on our MIDI control surface and the list of remote items for our rack extension. All what's left is to say which control will work what remote item. Switch back to our remote map file and scroll to the end of our existing remote map file. Insert a blank line, then write in the word scope followed by one tab character. I've highlighted this inserted text on screen. Now switch back to our Air Strings remote info file and highlight the third line of our remote info file, where it gives us the manufacturer and device ID, as shown on screen now. You will want to copy and paste this back into the remote map file, shown here. Starting on a new line, write the word, map, and then one tab character. Then select a control from our list of control names and paste it to the end of this line. I have selected the first control name mob1 to paste into the remote map file. Now enter two tabs and then switch back to the Air Strings remote info file and select a remote item to copy and paste. You only want to copy the remote item, not including the tab or other values. I have selected the first remote item, level, as shown here. Remember, you can use these other values in the remote info file to help you choose toggle remote items for button controls or value remote items for pots or fader controls. Then paste the remote item at the end of the map line and press enter to start a new line. Repeat this process until you have mapped all of the controls for your MIDI controller. Here you can see I have mapped 8 controls on they can be mapped however you feel best suits your workflow. Often you will find that there are many more remote items than the number of available MIDI controls. This is where the use of groups can be used to extend your mappings. Proper heads remote maps have two kinds of groups available to use. One is keyboard groups, and the other is MIDI groups. This we will cover in the next tutorial. Please click the red subscribe button below for notifications of our next tutorials, and leave your comments below. Support our channel and share with Facebook, Twitter, or other social group.